Well, we know the calendar says mid-April, but the snowy ground looks a lot more like winter. And that made for an interesting travel day at Burlington International. Local 22's Isabel Shoneman spoke to travelers. That was a uh, caused a slight delay, but it was nothing because of the, uh, the conditions of the airport. There was a lot of snow in a short time on the runways, so airport workers were called in early to stay ahead of the precipitation. So what we do is we try to uh, get on top, uh, ahead of the storm and try to clear as much as we can uh, prior to those departures. The weather wasn't exactly a welcoming sight to some people coming back to Burlington, including two people who just returned from a ski trip in Utah. Um, we were, had some friends texting us saying that there was some pretty heavy snow coming down in Burlington. Um, and so, yeah, we're a little worried about it. I have to work tonight, so I'm glad it didn't get delayed. Yeah, I say a little worried just because we haven't had snow in a little while. And Robert Lewing from Essex Junction got back from sunny Florida to snowy Vermont. Flight was delayed two hours, and so we were tracking the flight for the, the connecting flight, which we missed by 45 minutes, even though they were an hour and a half late. So we were watching the weather all the way down, or all the way up and all the way down. <laughs> it's all part of spring in Vermont. Occasionally we get this kind of thing after uh, the middle of April. Uh, it's not uh, unheard of, but it's uh, relatively un uncommon that we get uh, something like this. Reporting in Burlington, Isabel Shoneman, Local 22 News.